The world's longest living populations share a surprising common thread, selenium-rich diets. In this video, we're gonna explore why this little mineral might be your greatest ally in living longer and aging stronger. I'm actually pretty excited to share with you some really very cool research about this mineral. And I think you're really gonna like this one because there's so much in this one specific article about selenium, an antioxidant with a critical role in aging. They really do a great job in this research study. They really talk about the importance of selenium and all of the um, reasons why people aren't getting enough of it. Um, I like that they talk about here that it should be noted that 25 selenoproteins have been discovered in humans, meaning that there are 25 specific proteins that we cannot make without selenium. And so let's take a look at what those proteins are responsible for. They possess a strong correlation with human diseases such as cancer, Kishan disease, virus infections, male infertility and abnormalities in immune responses and thyroid function. Sounds to me like this is a little bit of everything that we need all the time. And so we wanna make sure we're getting plenty of that selenium. So let's take a little deeper look at this where it talks about the role of selenium in the prevention and treatment of health disorders. It talks a lot about immunity. There's so much that your immune system really needs. Both the innate and the adaptive immune system is going to need a lot of this. They talk about centenarians in this research. They talk about specifically infections and even endocrine disorders, of course, but even cancer is something you're going to hear a lot when it comes to these deficiencies. But let's look, because it's a longevity vitamin, in the role of selenium in longevity and age-relating disorders. So age-related disorders such as neurodegeneration. Okay, if we're thinking longevity, we got to keep the brain as strong as long as possible. And cardiovascular disease that's the, sec the first pillar that we talk about. If you don't take care of the heart, none of the rest of it really matters. And immune dysfunction. So that's the three top pillars that we talk about at Strong and Health of longevity. Heart strength, brain strength, and immune strength. And then there's one little on one on there for you people who really want to look young too. Formation of skin wrinkles. We want to make sure that uh, we have enough uh, selenium because these are all closely associated with selenium deficiency. So what are some sources of selenium in the human diet? Love it, it's all in this article. And I wanna point out clearly at the top here, organic selenium from food is considered a safe and efficient source of supporting human health. This is a very important point. You hear a lot of people talk about selenium toxicity. You can't eat more than three Brazil nuts in a day or you're going to get selenium toxicity. Well, actually, when you're getting them in whole foods, you get all these other things that balance it. Now, I would say maybe cut yourself off at three Brazil nuts a day if you're eating them every day, every day, every day, which I do, actually. I eat uh, about one or two Brazil nuts every day, well, five days a week when I'm in clinic. I do eat them raw, organic, and sprouted. But let's look at some other foods that can also be providing us with this awesome selenium. Uh, there is selenium yeast, and that's actually in a product that I created for my brother, Dr. Strong, called Dr. Strong's Brain Formula. We used a selenium form of that because we wanted a vegan source for everyone. Shiitake mushrooms, garlic, broccoli, bananas, all of these are gonna be awesome sources. You got your Brazil nuts there, tuna. Now, one that's missing from this, there is salmon down there too, is gonna be your sardines. Of course, I wouldn't uh, have a complete video if I didn't share that. However, okay, let's say you're, you're getting these foods and you wanna make sure that you're getting selenium from them. You have to remember that there are areas with low selenium soils that are common in these areas that are red on this map. So again, that is that Pacific Northwest area and the entire East Coast of the United States if you're looking at these foods as your source, whether it's broccoli or garlic or mushrooms, and they're grown in that area or eggs, you have to be doubly sure that you're also getting things from the actual ocean like fish because it's not actually gonna be well represented in the soil. And you can see it for the whole world map. We have this great information about that. We always have to remember just because it says it's in a food doesn't mean that that nutrient's in that food unless it's grown in an area that we know that it's in the soil. So that's that map again. So when we're talking about anti-aging, there's another piece to this that I wanna share with everybody. It even talks about um, the reduction in biological aging, but selenium can fight 
aging and prevent aging related health issues such as tumors, cardiovascular disease, neuropsychiatric disorders, but also we talk a lot about telomeres and there's an association of dietary selenium intake with telomere length in middle-aged and older adults. And so um, just bringing your awareness back to this, making sure that you are getting an appropriate amount from those foods on a regular basis, it is essential for your health. And specifically, I wanna ring in the end of this with importance to your cognitive function, because I just uh, taught a whole course on this for the Gata Institute, but specifically the effects of selenium in patients with mild cognitive impairment or Alzheimer's disease, a systematic review and meta-analyses. And the conclusions here said that even supplementation, now when I'm talking about supplementation, I want you to be supplementing with whole foods and they're talking about supplementation that is not necessarily a whole food. So there is a difference there, keep that in mind. But it does say is a good alternative for alleviating some symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and mild cognitive impairment. So very important that we keep this very specific nutrient in our life because we wanna make sure that we have everything that our body needs to keep us as healthy as long as possible. And what's cool is to know that this is actually addressing all three pillars of what we talk about for longevity, your heart, your brain, and your immune strength. So let me know which of these foods you're incorporating into your daily life so you're getting an appropriate amount balanced with other nutrients so that we can make sure that we can continue to give you your whole list of all the nutrients that we think are gonna be essential for longevity. Have a great day.